Here's the reference list from an article from an education journal. Uh, it's not obvious if you're unfamiliar with uh, referencing and citation styles, um, but I believe that this list of references is in APA format. Um, there's a few uh, things that identify it as such, like having the year in parentheses and having the uh, volume and page numbers at the end like this. Um, but uh, it could be, you know, a slightly different adapted style, um, but I, I believe that it's APA. So not every uh, list of references that you come across will look exactly like this, and there may be uh, subtle differences in how uh, this looks. Uh, but in general, this is, a, you know, a reference list from an academic article, and so it serves the purpose of directing the reader to the sources of information that these authors used when they were writing this article. So when you write a research paper or an essay or any kind of uh, research assignment at university, you'll also be expected to produce uh, something like this. Now, it may not be as long as this one, um, but it will be an expectation uh, generally that you will provide a list of references or a bibliography that indicates all of the sources that you used when you were preparing your work. In general, any citation style will have uh, rules around how to cite and reference different types of sources. Um, mostly as a, as a researcher and a writer at university, um, most of your information will come uh, generally from books or from uh, journal articles. Um, but you, know, you may occasionally find information that you use from other types of sources as well. Um, in this case, we can see lots of different types of books and lots of different articles that are available here. As an example, this first reference is for a book published in 1980 called Understanding Attitudes and Predicting Social Behavior. It also, um, the reference includes the place of publication and the publisher's name, and uh, it begins with the author's names and the year. The third reference here is for an article from a journal called the Journal of Empirical Research and Human Research Ethics. And there's a large list of authors associated with this. Um, then there's the year, the name of the uh, article, so the title of the article, and then the title of the journal, as well as the uh, volume of the journal, and the page ranges where that article is found. So all of the information that you would need um, in order to uh, look for this uh, article and find it either available in uh, in one of the library's databases or through the journal search.